Hello to anyone who is watching this. In this video I just wanted to show you what I managed to come up with my Arduino when I lost the RGB controller box. What you're seeing right now is me controlling the RGB LED strips with four buttons. The first three buttons represent the RGB and the fourth one is the reverse button. Pressing any of the first three buttons the corresponding color gets brighter and if you hold on the fourth button at the same time that color fades down. There are three resistors three transistors and four buttons on the breadboard, four wires connecting the RGB strip to the transistors and a 12 volt power coming from my power supply. The additional four resistors below the buttons are used instead of wires to tidy up the breadboard. With my written Arduino program, when you press the first two buttons at the same time, a rainbow function starts in a loop where it just cycles through every possible color and varying brightness. These two wires are the 12 volt line that powers the LEDs and the Arduino and the four wires in the back are connected to 12 volts and transistors. So this next part of the video uh, will be I guess a bit rambly because I'm going off script and in here I'm going to explain my script for the Arduino that controls these RGBs. So first of all I just define my pins with text so I know what they represent later in the code these right here so these are the pins that the buttons are connected to and these are the three pins that the RGB transistors are connected to then I have a an array for the LED value so RGB goes from 0 to 255 and then these three variables are for the rainbow function that I will show later. So uh, this is for the rainbow if <clears throat> right here I will check if the rainbow is on or off that function and this is the setup part I put the button pinouts as pull up input pull up and then the three modes for the LED transistors are outputs and I just set the color to what the value is here so 000, zero, zero so LEDs are turned off and then this loop uh, first I check if the rainbow function is set to true or false if it's false then I just set the colors to what they are in this array uh, else I just let the rainbow function go. Um, this is the part where the buttons control what happens if I press the button. So these are just long if statements to check which button is pressed, if the R, if G or the B button is pressed. And then it just go counts from 0 to 255 or if the fourth button is pressed then from 255 to 0 in a loop right here the R is going up or down then G and B and the out of the if statement where it's checking if the rainbow function is on I have two if statements that check if maybe the both two buttons are pressed to turn on the rainbow so if button red and button green is low and then it goes high the rainbow function turns off turns on otherwise otherwise it's it turns off um, this is the set color function that I used it just analog writes the values to the pins and this is the rainbow function I'm not going I'm not going to go into detail about it because it's not my script I found it on the web but I, right now I can't find the original author of the script. So this whole code will be in my GitHub. I will paste the link in the description if anyone wants to. And yeah, I'm not going to create the tutorial how to connect everything up. Um, but I think I'm going to show the schematic right now.